As conflicts across the world become more and more reliant on tech, the responsible use of artificial intelligence has been in the spotlight at a global summit co-hosted by South Korea and the Netherlands. Our Oh Soo Young has more. South Korea aims to play a greater role in making artificial intelligence responsible and effective for global security. Seoul's Foreign Minister Park Jin, in his closing remarks at the Hague Summit on Responsible AI in the Military Domain, stressed the importance of effectively governing the deployment and the use of AI in warfare before it is too late. Co-hosted by the Netherlands and South Korea, the two-day re-aim summit invited government officials, firms, academics and civic groups to explore both ethical and technical questions that arise from using high-tech solutions in armed conflicts. Minister Park said AI development is especially important for Seoul, as it faces North Korea's escalating nuclear missile threats. He further highlighted South Korea's role in working with like-minded countries to strengthen a global digital order that promotes freedom, solidarity and human rights. REAIM is a perfect example of how countries like the Netherlands and the Republic of Korea can try to initiate the dialogue on norms sort of setting on emerging challenges that we face on a global level. So two relatively um, middle power countries working together, trying for the good of the world to try to, to discuss these kind of issues together. And that is what we can do as responsible middle powers or global pivotal states, like your president mentions that. Also, as IT powerhouses, experts say South Korea and the Netherlands can lead the way to ensure technology is developed to make the free world safer and more secure from aggressive forces in future warfare. The critical contribution of AI is shortening the time between detection and response. This is the most important part. And, and I think we already have the technology to process information at a vast scale. Uh, but what, uh, what's important too is to ensure uh, uh, security of the communication within the battle network where AI processing takes place. And that's the critical part, I believe. So Korea definitely has, a, uh, um, has a, um, I would say, an advantage in this field. The second re-aim summit will take place in South Korea next year. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.